What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Tim Owens, owner of Reclaim Arcade. It has been a day of pinball repairs, and I thought I should jump on camera here and walk you through some of them because a lot of people have no idea how much work we do trying to keep these things on. And I get it. I get it. I love pinball as much as you do. It's sad. You come in here, 17 machines, and a couple of them are down, but holy crap. We got them all, well, not every single one. We don't have 100%, but we got a lot of them working and working really well. So I'm going to flip this camera around here and show you all what we got going on. All right, so first and foremost, we've got Guns and Roses. Great game. Uh, we were having some issues with the trough down here. Um, and what would happen is there would be an error up on the screen. It would say trough error. Uh, and so what we did there was there was a board inside and we went ahead and reflowed the solder on that board. It's a trough opto board. And we're hoping that fixes it. Um, the game hasn't been down necessarily, but that error comes up and, you know, staff have to go in and wiggle some wires. So we're hoping not have to wiggle wires, but we'll see if that lasts. But otherwise, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels has had some trouble. Uh, it was on all weekend, no big deal, but this plastic had gotten broken uh, right here that covers that ball lock had broken off. And that's actually one big piece of plastic that runs all the way up there and comes down there. So reordered that plastic. The R target uh, had gotten knocked off. So had to order one of those. So we've got a new R target over there. And while we were working on it, we found that this pop bumper was broken. Nobody had reported that, but we saw it. So we fixed it. So several things going on on that one. Um, Rush. Rush had a new flipper assembly done. I believe it was the right, right or left, one of the two. Um, we had gotten several reports of that. So uh, new flipper assembly in there, got all that fixed up, and she's playing very nicely. Stranger Things, no issues. Love this game. I do always laugh when people report that the flower isn't working. Uh, we got the bash target working really well on the Demogorgon now, not the flower. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, no reported issues, but when I went to play it today, Groot's mouth wouldn't open. What the heck's up with that? So had to take it out. I ended up having a spare motor, thank goodness. So we got that working again. Um, but that was really odd. Nobody had reported it, but it was certainly not working properly. But otherwise, everything seems to be doing good on Guardians. Let's go on over here. And let's maybe, uh, let's, let's turn, whoa, 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 turn around here. Um, let's see. Uh, poor Radical. Radical is one of those games that just doesn't want to seem to work. Ever. It's working right now, though. Um, what's happening, so the issue that we've been getting reports of are that the flippers stop working, particularly the right side, lower and upper stop working on that. And what's happening is right behind there, there's a board with fuses on it and a fuse is popping. Uh, F5 to be particular uh, has been popping. So we replaced that again. Uh, it needed a two amp. I actually didn't have a two amp. I had a three amp and I put that in there. So um, we have some more research to do on Radical. It's playing right now. I played several games. Everything works perfectly fine. So I don't know what to say on that one. It's working. It's working fine. We'll see if I need to replace a fuse before the weekend. So um, Jurassic Park. The flip, the right flipper, and these are these precision flippers. I hate them. I'm not going to lie. I am not a big fan anymore. Um, snapped completely off of the shaft. Uh, we had a replacement, but I'm going to go back to stock flippers. These things are annoying me. Um, so had to completely replace the flipper shaft on this guy to get it back up and running. Otherwise, it's doing all right. Um, I was told by Mike that the captive ball here under the truck um, is technically broken. It will sit there, but um, and it and it works fine. To be clear, 
Um, but it's just sitting inside the play field where it should have like a shaft. It's, it's come sheared off or something. So uh, I am going to have to replace that, but it doesn't affect gameplay. Um, truck still works, still does all the things you would expect it to. And she's playing pretty good. Star Wars, uh, no reported issues, but we did, let me get down here, this thing. This screw has come loose so many times, and for whatever reason, they used a Torx head screw on there, uh, which is fine, but weird. No other screws in the entire pinball machine use Torx, Um, but it keeps coming loose, so we put a washer underneath of it um, to hopefully get it. That's a that's your ball, your out lane ball save. Um, it says, may the force be with you on it. And it opens up kind of like a lightsaber to let you drop that back in there. So um, no big deal. Nobody had reported it, but we saw it. So we fixed it. That's how we do. Ghostbusters did some work on the flippers. There were some reports of weak flippers, uh, cleaned everything up. Um, you know, it's always hard. Some people will say the flippers are weak and they're really not hitting their shots properly. Um, but in this case, uh, we got everything cleaned up. It seems to be playing really well. So no concerns here. Twilight Zone, we cleaned up. It was dirty. I should mention all these machines had gotten fairly dirty. I was on vacation last week, and it had been a while with all the repairs since we have been able to actually get in there and do some work. So uh, we cleaned up almost every single game. Uh, this got a good cleaning. Uh, otherwise, I don't believe there were any major issues on Twilight Zone. That was working this weekend. So, we good there. Move All right. Let's move on. No issues with Space Station that I'm aware of uh, whatsoever. I did notice while I was looking at it. I, I shouldn't say no issues, but this is minor. The S... One of the T's and the I, those bulbs have come loose. So, oh, and the T up here too. So, yeah, I think I just need to tighten some bulbs in that one to get that one working. But that's not a big deal. I mean, it's nice. It's nice we can do those little things. Um, doesn't affect gameplay necessarily. But otherwise, it's playing fine. Taxi was good this week. Taxi is never great. Um, love the game, to be clear, but this game has been a nightmare, getting things from Drac to the pinbot targets, everything working properly, but um, seems to be playing fine for this week, so no worries. Space Invaders, poor Space Invaders. You can see the out-of-order sign. We are still out of order. Um, Space Invaders is literally catching fire. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, the board inside there, it popped a fuse. Uh, we put in another fuse that popped that. So we said, all right, well, let's test. And um, we put a breaker fuse in there, um, tested it with things unplugged. And literally, the board caught fire as soon as it got turned on. So Mike has taken that home. There's clearly a short in the board. It's the power board that's down inside the cabinet. And we're going to see what's going on with that. But I did order another board. That'll come in eventually, but poor Space Invaders, not very scary when you're turned off, sadly. Iron Maiden, uh, the upper flipper was getting stuck, so had to make an adjustment there to get that one moving properly. Otherwise, she good. She's playing good. Um, Avengers, I believe everything was fine on this one. See, it's been so long, I don't even know what the reports were. Uh, we did clean this one up, um, but I don't think there were any flipper issues on this one. And we played a couple test games, and it's playing really well. Um, Godzilla, one of the flippers, I believe the left flipper, was getting stuck in the up position um, until it would like rattle around if you hit the other flipper, or if a ball hit it, it would fall back down. But it was getting stuck, so... That needed a little bit of an adjustment to the flipper assembly to get that to move cleanly. And that's doing well. So she's good. And then Foo Fighters. My favorite game. Hanging strong. Um, no issues on Foo Fighters. So we just cleaned her up. And everything is good. So yeah, 17 pins. 16 of them online. 
Um, what can I say? It's a lot of work to keep pins up and running here at Reclaim Arcade, but we're doing it. So I thought it'd be useful to just show you all what we had going on today. We got everything cleaned up, everything working with the exception of Space Invaders, and it is ready for you to play this weekend. All right, thanks for watching.